In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you some tips for creating a horizontal transition between scenes. These are often called wipes. I was talking online with one of my subscribers, Chris Lauterbach, and we were interacting about how to do some horizontal transitions. And so let me show you several different options that you have in CyberLink PowerDirector. I have a host of varied clips on track number one, and let's assume I want to begin by using a horizontal transition. I can click on my transitions room or press the F8 key on the keyboard. That's the lightning bolt with the film strip, if that's my picture. And in the general category, there are a couple that are pretty common. Let's look at, first of all, look at shove. I'm going to take and drag that down and drop it between the first two clips. I have the default time set to four seconds, but I want to change one feature on it. So with a transition highlighted, I click on the Modify button. Now my default transition is up. I'll change the direction to right. And when I play this segment moving in and through the transition, we'll see what happens. Now in Shove, it actually pushes the video as it plays from one end of the screen to the other. Now there's a little bit of a difference between a shove and a wipe. Let me show you. We'll take the wipe and we'll drop that in. We'll modify the properties there. We'll also go to the right. And now when we play this, you'll see something that's similar but not identical. When we get to video number two, it will actually freeze the first one and overlay it. It doesn't shove it off the screen, it just overlays it with an increasing measure. Let me give you another option that we have here. I'm going to change this uh, wipe to a slide. I'll take the slide and drag it down and just drop it on top the other one. Now I need to change the feature of it to make that right because the default is up. And let's see what this one is. When I click and play this segment of the video, we go from the rafters in the river to the scene of the desert. And again, we freeze the last frame and we see the second one come in. Now, if we want to see a, a slightly different behavior, I'm going to change one other feature of it. I'll click on that, click on modify. And then instead of doing what I've been doing, which is crossfade, let's try the overlap. When I switch to overlap on this particular transition, you'll notice a slight difference. In overlap, we retain more motion between the two clips. Let me take the first one and also change that to the overlap from a crossfade. And we'll play that transition again. And you should notice a difference here as well. In overlap, you do see more of the motion on the first uh, clip in relationship to the second clip. So I would prefer to use the overlap type of transition when using any of these three options. So those are a couple ways in which you can do horizontal. Let me show you another tool you have. I'm going to work on my next pair of clips here in the middle. And we'll click on from the general tab. I'm going to click down to the pro dad tab. And here I have a product called Adorage. I'm going to take and drop that down between the two clips. Then I'll click on Modify. Then I need to click on the Adorage system to stand alone effect. And this gets me into my Adorage menu. Now you may have different volumes of Adorage depending on your version of PowerDirector. I'm going to click on Volume 2 and then click on Alpha Effects and then click on Wiper and then click on Horizontal. And here I'm going to click on Line. And so I, I go this far down into my menu system and we'll see what it looks like when we're done. I'll click on OK. 
And here's a slightly different version of the same kind of transition. Only in this case, we do have a bit of a uh, fuzzy line between the two. It's not a solid straight line. So th this is an option you have. The Adorage Volume 10 has another wipe that is pretty similar to this one. If you have that, you can experiment with it. I kind of like that. It adds a little extra flair. Let me give you one other option. I saw online of what was called a Da Vinci transition between two clips. And in that clip, what happened was there was an object that went between the first one and the second one. I can't find a transition in PowerDirector that will do that, but let me show you another way to accomplish that same uh, feat. What we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the second transition. I have this common one we've been using today where we have the river rafting. Let me get back to my clip here. We have the river rafting, and then we're going to go into a beach scene. What I'm going to do in this case is use some keyframing rather than a transition. I'm going to start by keyframing my second clip. So I double click on it to get into my PIP designer. And then we're going to keyframe the first four seconds of it. So I take my uh, time indicator and move it to four seconds. And then I'm going to set a position keyframe. I'm going to move back to the beginning. And now we're going to move the entire video all the way to the right. I'm using the keyboard, uh, left and right arrows in this case, to make sure I stay perfectly horizontal and uh, don't go up or down at all. I could also just verify the X, Y positions and I would get the same results. So I'm going to move that all the way off the screen to, to the right so it will come in from the right. Then I'll set a keyframe by clicking on the position, the diamond, at the beginning. So when I play this clip, I'll say it takes four seconds for that clip to move from the left to the right. And I'll click on OK. So now what I also want to do is I want to go back to my media room. And here I have an object that I'm going to keyframe to parallel that. This object is simply called a pillar. I'll take and drag that down to track number two. First thing I'm going to do with my object is widen it so it's a little more dramatic. And then we're going to keyframe it. We've set the time to four seconds to match the other item. So we'll double click on it. That will get us into our PIP designer. I want to start with the object on the right side because that's where my video is coming in. And so I'll simply drag and move it to the right. I want to make sure my Y value in the upper left corner is the same, so it's perfectly horizontal. So I'll make sure it's 0 0.50, and I'll set a position marker at the beginning. Then I'm going to take my time indicator, move it to the end of the clip. At the end of the clip, I want it to be sliding all the way to the left. And here again, I'm going to make sure my Y value is 0.5 even. And I set a keyframe. I'll click on OK. Now, when I play the video, I should have my second clip move across the screen and having it look like there's a pillar there as well. So we'll play and watch it go. Now it came across just fine, but I don't see the first clip. So what I need to do in this case is I need to move these items over from right to left a little bit. So we'll stop that. We'll take these items and highlight both of them. We'll move them down the track. And then I need to go over the four seconds. So now, instead of having black as the transition begins to play, I will see the rafting. So let's play that. Enlarge it so we can see it a little bit better. And we have the rafting clip. And then we have 
the pillar and the other clip slide across the rafting clip. So we didn't use an actual transition here, but we made that kind of effect simply by using keyframing on two objects in CyberLink PowerDirector.